Right, for today's exercise, what we are going to do is we are going to convert this orthographic drawing here over into an isometric. And in the instructions, they clearly dictate that you have to do it freehand. That's the key. So in the exam, if they tell you to do it freehand, you have to do it freehand as well. No ruler may be used. If we analyze the model, you can clearly see that the symbol here, it's in third angle orthographic projection which means this is the top view, that's the front view, and this is the left view. The model itself is square, therefore it is a prism. So to start with the exercise, we want to count the blocks. We have no physical unit here, but we go one, two, three, four, five blocks. The same for the height. The height is five blocks as well, and the width is two blocks, and we're going to convert those blocks onto the Right, now before we start with the isometric itself, please take note that point A has to be the lowest point, so no point of the drawing is allowed to go below that. And then it's also very important to understand that when you do a freehand, especially if you're using a grid, you are not required to clip it into the board. In fact, it's more beneficial to in fact turn the page as you require when you're drawing with angles. Keeping in mind that when you do this in the exam, you are not allowed to color in the line. You have to draw a crisp, neat line as straight as possible. Okay? Your arm also has a natural angle to it, so if you want to be more comfortable when drawing, you can turn the page so that it's easier to draw the line, especially if the lines are very, very long. So to start, I'm going to add the width. I'm simply going to add the width, and it's two blocks to the right. Then we know that the height is five, so we count it one, two, three, four, five, and we can draw the lines down again. You can turn the page to where you are more comfortable. Right, there you go. And then rinse and repeat. This height has to go up as well, and then we can just connect the top line. Next, we want to add the front side, which is going to be from point A going to the left, and that's going to be five blocks in total. And then we're going straight up also by five blocks. And then we connect the corners. Right, there you can see that we have our right side and we have our front. And there you can see that the basic prism is complete and all we have to do now is add the hole that's going to go right through it. almost complete by keeping in mind that the width is two blocks so therefore this inside corner will be seen so it has to go in two blocks as well and then you draw the vertical line in the back and the last line and there we go we are done with the prism in isometric right please take note that there's also an exercise on the right side which you have to complete uh, it's very, very similar, but if we go to the diagram, then you can clearly see here that point A is in a different location. Again, it's in third. You've got a top view, a front view, and a left view. But this time, it's lying flat, okay? But again, it's exactly the same size, so it just has a different orientation.
Right, for the last exercise today, you can see that there's a prism here, but it's got these grooves cut out going right through on the sides. Please take note that the grooves on the left and right is only one block deep, while the ones at the top and bottom goes in two blocks. So again, it's in third, there's the top view, the front view, and the left view.